Oh, my bad. Um, I'm doing fine. Okay. No problems. Not your bad. Aaliyah, how are you doing today? Good. All right. The double A. A A Leah. Everyone calls me A A Ron. You ever heard that that joke, Aaliyah? Yeah. All right. Did anyone call you A A Leah? Or no? No. No. Do you wish they did? I can call you that. Yes? No? If you want. <laughs> okay. That's all right. I'll call you Leah. Uh, let's see. Ramon, how are you today? Ramon. Hey, I'm doing all right. All right. That's you? cool. Come your camera's not on. Oh, it's not working right now. Ah, Eduardo, how are you doing today? Where did Eduardo go? Good, thank you. Okay. Your big E, big round E that just glows. Yeah, I'm trying to turn my camera on. It's not working. All right. You sound yeah, muffly. You, you're probably having internet issues. Uh, I believe so. Did did anyone did anyone have the internet go off completely yesterday? Mine went completely off. Yeah, mine shut down. Yeah, was it Spectrum? Was it a Spectrum thing? I don't know. Yeah. I just know that I think everyone's internet just dropped for a few minutes. Yeah. I yep. wish. Yeah, I wouldn't that have been cool if that happened during school? We wouldn't have had to do anything. But oh, and go out and play. I would have played kickball. Hey, should we play kickball? You know what my two favorite games are? Kevin, you know what my two favorite games are? What? Guess. Math. Guess one. No. Math is dumb. I'm just joking. Math isn't dumb, but I love math. Good, good. No, that was a good, that was a good, uh, Kevin, that was a great answer. Great answer, though. But not math, even though it should be. Olivia, can you guess what, what one of my two favorite games are? Kickball. Yes! Kick ball, kick ball, Olivia. That was so What's strong. The well, the others probably better than kick ball. What? What is? Oh, let's, let me ask someone else. Javier, what do you think? What do you think I like better than kick ball? I'm not quite sure. Oh, come on! You got to guess. Come on, Javier. Give me something. Are you thinking, Javier? Um, I don't know, football? Nah, uh, football is fun. It's not my favorite. Good guess, though. Nikander, what do you think? Soccer? Ooh, I love soccer, I have to admit. But that that's not my very favorite. But I do love soccer. Soccer is pretty amazing. Laura, how about you? Basketball? No, you played in, in the playground, a playground thing. Even though you play oh. basketball in the playground, you play it. You play it with all your kids, and a whole bunch of you play, and you can go crazy at it. You can go so crazy. Tag. Ooh, that's a good one, but not quite tag. See, I'm looking up. Um, as, as you guys are guessing, I'm I'm just looking up my, our attendance. <sighs> Okay, I'll t it's dodgeball. Does anyone like dodge? I love dodgeball. Get to pound people. Get to be like dodge the ball. You feel like a the Matrix, like Neo, dodging bullets. That's what I was like. I was just a crazy dodger. Javier Abonce. Here. Estrella Avalos. Here. Olivia Bryant. Here. Anthony Campos, Ramon Carrillo, Kimberly Cedillo Plata. Here. Christian Cervantes. Here. Alex Garcia. Here. Kimberly Garcia. Here. Alexandria Gutierrez. Here. Micah Hannigan. Cassandra Here. Hernandez. Here. Kyle Hernandez. Here. Catherine Laura. Here. Aaliyah Lee. Stephen McNaughton. Here. Here. Lilia Madrano. Here. Mar Jackson Moreno. Here. Camila Moffitt. Laura Punto. Here. Kevin Quintana. Here. Daniela Ramirez. Here. Noah Raviles. Here. Daniel Reyes. Here. 
Lisbeth Reyes. Here. Emily Rodriguez. Here. Alexis Romero. Here. Bryson Santos. Here. Kenji Sasaki. Madison Smith. Here. Eduardo Solano. Jada Stone. Here. Nikander Trong. Here. All right. A lot of people absent today. You're going too fast, and say it's about going fast, man. Here we go. Here's our van absent. Anthony Campos, Ramon Carrillo, Lilia Medrano, Jackson Marino, Camila Moffitt, Noah Reveles, Emily Rodriguez, Kenji Sasaki, Eduardo Solano, and Jada Stone. Let's try it again. Here we go. I'm going to go fast again. Anthony Campos, Ramon Carrillo. Here. Was that Ramon? Yes. Okay. Lilia Medrano. Here. Jackson Marino. Here. Camila Moffitt. Noah Reveles. Here. Emily Rodriguez. Here. Kenji Sasaki. Here. Eduardo Solario. Here. Jada Stone. Here. Nice. That was that was good. Okay, so I have Anthony Campos and Camila Moffitt absent. Anthony, Camila. Okay. Oh, there's Anthony. I'd admit him. Anthony Campos, are you here? Yeah. All right. Eduardo, you turn your camera on? I can't remember if I asked you to do that or not. All right. You all look great. Okay, we have an activity, a Desmos activity to do, but I want to go over some, take some notes before I do the Desmos activity. And this is actually pretty cool and pretty fun, okay? So the topic we're going to do, the topic, topic is graphing, whoops. polynomials so uh, oh look wait a minute so my camera that just went on i don't want that camera on right now i don't want that let's see can you see me all right can you see me now hey guess what today's my wife's birthday can you believe it? You get married, you have to do something special for the person you're married to on their birthday. So we made her breakfast. I installed these mirrored closet doors for her birthday. Should I show it to you? I don't know. I was like, I'm not really a handy guy, but I like how to drill them in and put them in. Mirrored closet doors. Now I'm going to make her dinner tonight. I'm going to barbecue some salmon. Because you know why? Barbecue salmon, um, make some homemade mashed potatoes and asparagus. I didn't get her like a birthday dessert. Maybe I should send my son to go get it. But it's cheaper than going to a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Just cook it. You know? Yeah, you know what I mean? Rush, everything seems, you guys probably don't notice it, but everything seems way more expensive now. Everything's getting like expensive. I have six people in my family. Go to the restaurant, it'd be like a hundred bucks, you know? hundred bucks. Just go in the restaurant. All right. Let's get busy though. Here we go. We're going to talk about graphing polynomials. Doot, doot. 
oh, 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 staying alive, staying alive, oh, 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 staying alive, oh, oh, oh. Graphic polynomials. So there's really homework is going to be online, but let's go ahead and talk about graphing polynomials. Name, date, 223, Sensei's wife's birthday. 21. Anyone else's birthday today? I'll put some closet doors in your room if you if you if it's your birthday today. Period three. Okay. So you guys remember what polynomials are, like they're mini monomials. So basically, here's what we're gonna graph. We're gonna graph something that looks like this. F of x equals x plus three times x minus four times x plus one times x minus two. Okay, so let's, right now we're just gonna graph something this simple. We're just gonna graph this, x plus three. Now I know that doesn't seem simple, but this is actually pretty simple because it's all factored out for us, okay? So we're gonna graph this polynomial function. So write that down, f of x is x plus three, x minus four, x plus one times x minus two. And so, First things first, what we're going to do is let's solve for the zeros. What are my zeros? Okay, so over here, let's see. Let's go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's first find our zeros, okay? What are our zeros? Okay, so over here, let's do a little little section called our zeros. Our zeros. What are our zeros? Okay, so write a section. What are our zeros? What are you talking about, Sensei? Well, how do we make this equation equal to zero? Does anyone know how do we make this equation equal to zero? Let's go with, give me a zero. Let's see if you even know what I'm talking about. I don't know if anyone knows what the heck I'm talking about when I say find the zeros. You, you do know. You just don't remember that you know. Bryson, I bet you could tell me. Give me a zero. Can you figure one out? X, X equals something. Do you know what I'm talking about? X equals zero? Nope, not quite. I'll Hang on a second, Bryson. Well, would zero make this equal to zero, Bryson? No. Okay, it wouldn't. But you probably don't know what I'm talking about, though, right? No, not really. Okay, that's fine. Not your pro not your fault. My fault. Daniel Reyes, do you know a zero? Can you give no, me a zero? All right, I'm gonna go with someone else. Let's go with Emily. Um, I don't know either. How about Emily? Say negative three. Negative three. Very good. Emily is 100% correct. Let's see if uh, Bryson. Can you give me one now that you know that negative three is a zero? Uh, negative one. Yes, that's another one. Uh, let's see. Now that those are two zeros, let's go with uh, Javier. Can you give me another zero? Positive two. Yes, there's one more zero. One more zero. You guys are getting this. Um, let's go with Cassandra. Um. I don't know. Let's stay with me, Cassandra, because I'm going to explain it to you. Okay. Okay? So we got negative 3. How did we get that? Because we have positive 3 here. And what's negative 3 plus positive 3, Cassandra? Um, can you repeat it again? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. See, one of my zeros is negative 3. Um... Wait, wait. Yes or no? You see that? That it's negative? Yeah. You see the ne negative 3, right? And do you see this x plus 3 here? Oh, you is see that? it um, x equals positive 4? Yes. x equals 4, because 4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So these are my zeros. Okay? So that means that my graph... I have a zero, that means it's going to cross the x-axis at these numbers. So to graph this, one thing I know is that negative 3, I will have 
a cross here at negative three. It's going to hit that point. So make sure you fill in negative three. I also have one at negative one. I also have one at two. You guys put it in order. That's kind of cool. And I also have a zero at four. That means my polynomial is going to cross at those points. Okay. Now, let's test our boundaries. Okay. So now this is going to be very interesting. Okay. So down here, we're going to write test our boundaries. Okay, so I'm going to draw a little number line here. I'm going to test my boundaries. Okay, on my number line, I'm going to put my zeros. Okay, so here we're going to put my zeros. Hopefully, I could really see both of them. I could fit them both in like that. And my zeros, again, are negative 3, okay, negative 1, 2, and 4. So I'm going to put a little line to test our boundaries. You guys got that line? And here, let's put our equation... Okay, we have x plus 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. Okay, so first thing is we found our zeros, got our zeros here. Now we're going to test our boundaries, and we put our little, put a little number line with our zeros here. Whoops. Okay, there. Can you see all that? Okay, so now... We don't want to test the zeros. What do you mean by that, Sensei? Uh oh, is someone trying to get in? Who's trying to get in? Camila. Did Camila? Camila, what happened? Did you leave and why? What? What's going on? How come I have to? Camila. Did I mark you absent? Oh, Camila. Camila. Hello? Camila, yeah. if you can hear, stay after class because I marked you absent, okay? Okay. All right. Where was I? Where's my thing? Okay, so I'm testing my boundaries here, okay? So... The boundaries are everything before and after each zero, okay? So I want to pick a number that is less than negative 3. Anything over any number over here, less than negative 3, okay? And this is going to tell me if my answer is going to be positive or negative. But let me ask you something first before we test the boundaries. Before we do that, let me ask you a question here, okay? Um, let's see, Kevin, everyone has to understand this. Listen to me and Kevin, Kevin, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Kevin, what is negative one times negative one? Positive one. Very good. Positive one, right? Okay. Someone else. Uh, let's go with Kenji. Kenji, are you with me? Yes. Okay. Here we go, Kenji. What is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, Kenji? Negative 1. Yes. Negative 1. Okay. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. I have four of them. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Uh, let's go with um, Jackson. Four of them. Four negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. What's the answer, Jackson? One. Positive one. Positive, right? Now let's yeah. do five. Negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one. I got five. one, two, three, four, five. What is that equal to? Five of them. Uh, let's go with Danielle. Negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one times negative one. Negative one. Yes. How did you figure that out, Danielle? Um, cause since four of them equaled positive one, then five of them, it would be like negative one times one. Yes. Yes. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. I got six here. 
Negative one times 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 negative one. I think that was six that I said. Christian, what do you think? Six of them. I base. What? One. Yes. How did you figure that out, Christian? Because there was an even amount. Yes, Christian. That's so strong. Guess what? Even is going to be a positive. Odd is going to be a negative. This one's odd. So that's going to be a negative. Even. Four, it's going to be a positive. Even. Positive. So we understand if we have an even number of negatives that we multiply, it's going to be positive. If we have odd, it's going to be negative. We have to understand that. Okay? Alexis, what did I say about multiplying positive numbers? Um, if it's even, it's going to be positive, and if it's odd, it's going to be negative. Yes, very good. Okay, cool. So with that, we must understand that as we test our boundaries. Okay, so where we're going, remember, we're first of all, let me start over again. We are graphing this polynomial. There's a lot of steps to do. The first step is we have to find the zeros. We found the zeros, okay? The second step is we are going to test the boundaries. Okay, so let's go ahead and test our boundaries. Now, what do you mean by that, Sensei? So let's pick any number, any number that is less than negative three. Less than negative three. Okay, so give me a number. Any number less than negative three. Uh, Aaliyah, give me a number less than negative three. Negative one. That's more, actually, and it can't be a zero. It can't be a zero. It has to be less. It has to be over here. Negative one negative. is bigger. Negative five. Okay, so Leah said negative five. So I'm going to put negative five here. We got negative five. Okay, so now watch what I do here. What is negative five plus three? It's going to be negative two. That doesn't matter. My answer is going to be a negative. That's all I want you to say. If I plug a negative 5 into this uh, monomial right here, it's going to be negative. Negative 5 minus 4. If I plug that in, negative 5 minus 4 is going to be negative. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9, right? If I plug a negative 5 plus 1, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. That's going to be negative. My answer is going to be, I just care if my answer is going to be negative or not, right? And then negative 5 minus 2. What is negative 5 minus 2? I'm plugging in negative 5. Ale uh, Alexandria Guterres. What is negative 5 minus 2 right here? Can you do that in your head? Negative 3. Mm, no, actually, it's going to be negative. What would you say? Sorry. Negative 5 or minus negative 7. Negative yeah, negative seven. 7, but my answer is going to be negative, right? That's all I want to know is, is my answer going to be negative or positive? Any number. We could have plugged in negative 8. We could have plugged in negative um, infinity. We could have plugged in negative 20. We would get a negative, 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 negative. Whatever we get. If I plug in, my answer would be negative for each one of these. Notice it is a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative. Negative times a negative times a negative times a negative. Anthony Campos. Four negatives. Yeah. If I multiply all of them, I'm going to get positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Boom. So matter no matter what my number is, so here I test my boundaries. I know everything less than negative 3 is going to be a positive. Okay? So now let's test our boundaries between negative 3 and negative 1. Somebody tell me a number between negative 3 and negative 1. Um, Christian, give me a number between negative 3 and negative 1. Negative 2. Very good. So let's plug in negative 2 into our thing. So we're done with negative 5. Let's plug in negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3, Christian. Is that going to be positive or negative? Uh, positive. Very good, because it's going to be positive 1. Very good. And, and I could have plugged in. We could have plugged in any number between, but negative 2 is nice and even. Okay, negative 2 minus 4. Um... Daniel Reyes, negative two, negative two minus four. What's my answer? Positive or negative? Negative. 
Boom. Okay. Negative two plus one. What's my answer? Positive or negative? Uh, Estrella. Negative right here. Negative two plus one. Answer positive or negative? Negative. Yeah, negative. This would be negative one. Very good. And then finally, negative two minus two. We're just going to plug it in. Uh, let's go with Cassandra. Negative two minus uh, two. Negative. Negative. Okay, cool. Look at my. Ignore the positive. How many? Uh, how many negatives do I have there? How many negatives? Kenji, what do I got? How many negatives? Three. Three. Is that even or odd? Odd. Negative times negative times negative is odd. So that means it's going to be what, Kenji? Um, uh, negative. Very good. So between negative three and negative one, we plug in, we're going to plug any number. We plugged in negative two. All the numbers are going to be negative. So you put a negative there. Okay. Now, between negative... One and two. Somebody pick a number between negative one and two. Uh, Kimberly, number between negative one and two. Give me a number. One. Sure, one. You're perfectly, I would have picked zero because it's easier, but hey, let's do one. Okay, Kimberly, what's one plus three? Is that positive or negative? Positive. Kimberly, one minus four, positive or negative? Uh, negative. Negative. One plus one. Positive. Boom. Kimberly, one minus two. Uh, positive. Wait, one minus. Oh, negative. Negative. Boom. Kimberly, what I got? Odd or even negatives? Ignore the positives. Uh, even. Even. What does even tell me? Positive or negative? Positive. Very good. Boom. So everything between negative one and two is going to be positive. So between two and four, let's pick a number between two and four. Um, thank you, Kimberly. Did that whole thing. That was awesome. Kyle, pick a number between two and four. Three. Okay. Kyle, ready? Three plus three, yep. what's it going to be? Positive. Three minus four. Negative. Okay. Three plus one. Positive. Three minus two. Positive. How many odds do I got? I'm sorry. One. I have an I have odd, right? So what's it going to be? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be negative. Boom. Okay, you guys seeing the pattern here? So a number bigger than four, test the boundaries. Okay, let's go with Laura. Give me another number bigger than four. Six. Six. Six plus three. Nine. Okay, positive or negative? Oh, um, positive. Yes, and you're right with nine. Six minus four, positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Six plus one? Positive. Six minus two? Positive. All positives. What do you think that's going to be? Um, even. Or positive, even. sorry. Positive. Yeah, there's no, there's no negative. I guess uh, zero negatives is an even. So we got a positive here. Okay. You guys see that? Okay, so now we're ready to graph. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Everyone have all this set up? We're going to put it all together now. We have our zeros. That means at negative 3 has to touch. At negative 1 has to touch. At 2 it has to touch. And at 4 it has to touch. But before negative 3, my graph is going to be positive. So here's negative 3. Positive means above. So I go like this. Okay, after negative three, between negative three and negative one, it's going to be negative. So that means I go below and I have to go back to my zero. So I go back up to my zero there. Boom, it's gonna look like that. It doesn't matter how low you go. Right now we're not grading that. This is not a calculus class. We just draw a curve. How low do you go? It doesn't matter, just draw a curve. Between negative one and two, my answer is positive. So I'm gonna go up, positive's up here, but I gotta go back down to the zero. How high do you go? It doesn't matter, just make a curve. 
Just make a curve. Between two and four, my graph is going to be negative. So I go below, up to the zero. Boom, how low do you go? It doesn't matter, just make a curve. And then four and above, zero. That's all you've got to do. Now, remember we talked about end behavior before the break? Talked about end behavior? Well, going back, my graph is positive. So it's going to end going up. And it's even. One, two, three, four. Even, that means this is up and that's up. So that kind of works too. But that's how you graph that polynomial function. You see, you guys see my wife? You say happy birthday to her. It's her birthday. It's your birthday. I, I made a, I, I installed some weird closet doors. They're great. Light up the whole room. When you want to check out your outfit, you can see what you're wearing. It's great. That's how you graph polynomials. Madison, did that make sense? Yeah. Really? All right. Probably need to do a couple more. But we're going to stop at that. Right now, <laughs> let's, uh, let's look at the activity that I want you guys to do. Okay? Um, where's my activity? So basically, this is in the, well, this is in the Desmos. Let's see, I, I only did this once before, so I think I can figure out how to get you guys to do it. Camila, remember I marked you absent. You got to stay after class, okay? So I can fix that. All right. So if you guys look, let's go into student view here. In the modules, it's 3.5. We're doing three. Now this is this is all a Desmos thing. You don't have to write anything out. It's all done on Desmos. So you're not turning this in. Okay, 3.5. Go to 3.5. Actually, you don't need to. You don't need to go 3.5. I'm just showing you where it is in case you're not here. But uh, self practice Desmos Polynomial Equation Challenge. You don't, don't click on this. I'm going to click on it for you. But that's where it is. And here we go. I'm going to teach your Desmos Activity Builder. Let me get you the, you guys are period three. I'm giving you a link. Okay, here's your link. You guys can, I know you can see me doing this. Here we go, I'll put in the chat box. All right, go on that link with me, okay? You guys going? Get in that link. And we can do this together. Let's do it together. And I'll let you guys. Wait, this looks different than the one I did before. Wait a minute. Okay, so I guess what do we have to do? Drag point A to move the parabola so that its roots are the two open blue points. Okay, so you want to make the roots. So you want to take this and move it so that it... Uh, and you got the roots where it intersects. Oh, almost. Boom. Okay, so you guys just go ahead and do that. Do this act, just do these activities here. It's going to talk about the roots. We see the relation of the function, the roots. Well, look here. Remember, we talked about that? The roots 
the roots make what is the relationship the roots make the function equal to zero right So now can you write a function for this, right? So you want the roots to be zero. Am I sharing? So what equation are we gonna write with this? Okay, what equation? Let's see. Nikander, give me an equation for this. Uh, X okay. minus four in parentheses and X minus seven in parentheses. Very good. So we want it to be equal to, we want it so that this makes it zero. So we say X minus four and then boom, X minus seven, boom. Okay, and that's all you gotta do, boom. There it is. Okay, so keep answering those questions. You want to write it here. So, all right, so you guys keep working on those. You can start seeing your answers. Let's see if there's anything. Now you want to see so have roots x to go through negative two, positive two, and six. Okay. So you guys work on that. Okay, and you guys just start playing around. It's basically what we did, what we talked about. Notice the zeros. Okay, so I'm gonna guys let you guys work on that. I don't think um, you guys can work on that on your own. You you're, feel free to go ahead and go. And then you just get that done, and I'll look at that afterwards. Um, Camila, make sure you stay. And then uh, everyone else, you are welcome to go. Unless there are there any questions before? Actually, are there any questions before I have you go? Yes, Madison. Oh, sorry, that was an accident. Oh, it's all right. Are there any questions? All right. Bye, Jackson. You guys can go. Bye, Stephen. Bye, Nikander. Bye, Bryson. Bye, Kimberly. Bye, Christian. All right. Okay, do you guys have questions? Let's see who's still staying. I think Kyle's not here. Nikander left. Kenji? Yeah. Do you have a question? Uh, I don't really understand the first question. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to ask Camila some real. Hey, Camila, you know how I marked you absent a whole bunch of times? Yeah. I think I figured out what happened. I do you come in i think you've been coming into class late and you haven't been telling me that you've been here um, like you missed my role oh like today that's why i had you stay because i don't know if you're okay. here you know what i mean mm -hmm. so how come you were late today um i had something to do but i'm i yeah. came here mm -hmm. okay so it's important that you do that. So make sure you tell your dad that that's what ha that's what's happened. Because, I mean, you, I, I, we had this special thing going on, and um, with that that uh made me have to admit you in that work.